An Austin woman is using her past hardships and her talents to bring warmth and hope to people who need it most this holiday season. Tonight, CBS Austin Sarah Navoy has a look at this woman's inspiring story. This is very good quality yarn. It took three months. Steady hands, focused eyes, dedication. Today's the day. Delivery day, but what's being delivered, what's inside these bags, really starts with what's inside this folder. It's this white area here. In the top left corner on Mary Beth Rollins' mammogram. Very clear there's something wrong. Doctors found cancer. And I was diagnosed um, sorry, on November 13th on her birthday. Her mom's birthday. And as irony would have it, she died just years earlier from cancer. You know, it was pretty bad. But Mary Beth knew she had to fight. I had uh, two surgeries. Uh, they didn't get it all the first time. <laughs> She also had radiation. It was tough, but the relationship she developed with other women at Texas Oncology helped. She also never went through the often traumatizing process of losing her hair. I felt a little almost guilty that I didn't lose my hair with them. That guilt combined with Mary Beth's compassion turned into an idea. It doesn't take any concentration once you get it down. She learned to crochet, wrapping and looping yarn, sometimes for hours. The finished product. These are just cozy winter hats. Some with an extra touch. Sometimes I put a flower on it. Dozens of hats and beanies with personality for women who with the loss of their hair feel self-conscious or just feel cold. Mary Beth, now cancer free this will be the fourth year. Just keeps going. But this year almost didn't happen. Mary Beth, unrelated to her cancer diagnosis, had to have back surgery. The recovery took months. All I could do was lay flat on my back. Which means she couldn't go back to work and had no money for yarn. That's where her sister stepped in, posting this on a neighborhood networking site. The donations just poured in. It was uh, overwhelming. It inspired Mary Beth to keep crocheting, even if it meant doing it horizontally. It was, it was a little difficult, but I managed to do it anyway. Which brings us back to this. Ready? Delivery day. Mary Beth made 45 hats. And just days before Christmas, played Santa with two full bags in hand. The first floor. Mary Beth entered a place that's all too familiar. Hi. Good morning, Ms. How, How are you? Good, Good to see you. You too, ma'am. I'm here, to, I crocheted hats, yes. and I'd like to make sure that one bag goes to radiation and the other to the chemo. Yes, ma'am. That would be, they loved them last Thank year, you. they're gonna love them this year. Well, here you go. Thank you so much. Look how wonderful that is. Senior receptionist Deb Durbin says these hats. And there's your UT hat right there. Look at that. <laughs> aren't just a nice gesture. They always use them. They always have different ones. And every year they're different. That's the best part is, you know, you never see a patient with the same hat. So it kind of becomes a part of them. It's a Christmas gift. So Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you. One that might have taken three months. I'm just glad that, that they're enjoying the hats. But inspires a lifetime of hope. And that makes me very happy. Sarah Navoy, CBS Austin News. Mary Beth's daughter just started a job working with premature babies, so when she isn't crocheting hats, Mary Beth says she plans to make tiny blankets for the babies.